Hello dear students of grade 6, you are welcome to unit 16, uh, getting started. Look at the pictures and see what happened here. So look at the first picture, what happened there. The boy won the medal, you can see, the boy won the medal. In the second picture you can see, these are the factories, you know, you can see smoke from chimneys. So you can see people build factories, we should use past tense dear students, people build factories. Third picture, you can see people, they are, okay, pointing to each other, so we can see they had a debate, okay, they had a debate, this is called debate, you know, and in last picture you can see, you can see a mountain here, uh, and you can see a flag, and you can see a man there, so a mountaineer put the flag on the top of the mountain, it means somebody put the flag on the top of the mountain, dear students, now, uh, it's a very interesting song. I'll ride the dawn, I nail, I blow, till the seed of the fire flicker and glow, and then I must scrub and bake and sweep. So it's about the morning, you know, daily routine of the morning, dear students. It's a very interesting poem. So now here, uh, wow, look at the picture down. This, 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 look at this. Uh, you can see here, you know, peep. this is very nice, very interesting. Okay, a picture here, very beautiful picture, and you can also see here. Okay, here you can see a woman and you can see two children there and in the last picture you can see uh, Okay, what can you see? Okay, so you can see a man and he's uh, offering something in the you know, uh, Bag to her. So dear students, so we can uh, we'll read this story I am sure your teacher has explained this story to you and you will understand it If you have any confusion, you can write to me I will try my best to uh, explain it in simple words. Anyway, who are the people in the second picture? They are mother and her two children. We can say that they are mother and her two children. We will understand it. We will find it when we read this story. Are they Hindus or Muslims? They are Muslims. You can see their dress and see what is the man in the third picture doing. The man uh, is giving some money to the woman. So Umar in disguise. Now, dear students, here, okay, dear students, very nice, okay, here, complete this character map of Omar. So, Omar, so one is given here, tall Omar the Khalifa. Khalifa is a tall, well built so we can find other adjectives, other words to describe him. Disciplined, ruler, good speaker, kind-hearted, responsible, simple, etc. So, you can... Uh, Find these words in the text above. Now, dear students, who said these sentences to whom? Write their name. Who said to whom in the story? So, the first one, what is in the pot on the fire? What is in the pot on the fire? Who said? Umar said to the woman. Umar said to the woman, what is in the pot on the fire? B. You would not carry my body on the day of judgment. Umar said to his servant. Umar said to his servant. Now see, it would be far better if you were the Khalifa of the Muslims. The Oman said to Omar. The Oman said to Omar. Now D. Omar may not be so bad after all. Omar said to the Oman. Omar said to the Oman. Now D students, uh, answer the following questions. Number A. What did, the what did he manage after becoming the ruler? What did he manage? After becoming the ruler, he supplied people with their daily needs and established a good system in the country. So, dear students, uh, Omar, he managed uh, so many things. So, I have given one example. He supplied people with their daily needs and he established administrative, you know, uh, system in the country. So, you can write other things here. You can find the answer in the text. B. What did he do to find out the condition of his people? Okay. He went to their homes. He went to their homes to find out the condition of his people. Now see, why were the children in the heart crying? Why were the children in the heart crying? Because they were hungry. The children were crying because they were hungry. Why were the woman cooking stones? She was cooking stones to give the impression to her children that she, the food would be ready. The food would be ready, okay? The children, there was nothing. So she was cooking stones uh, to give the impression. To our children, that the food would be ready. Okay, but like 
food tayar hunde cha bhanne ebara prabha pana ko lai sweet cooking stones now why did umar return to the state store oh, he returned to the state store to bring some food for the woman and her children umar returned to the state store to bring some food for for the woman and her children now do you think umar is a good ruler why give your reasons yes i think umar is a good ruler because he understands the problems of his people and he helps them in need similarly he established administrative system in the country so he did so many good things so he is a good ruler now dear students act out the following conversation uh, so now you you can read the conversation yourself dear students now work in figures take turns so just uh, let's try one I went to a stationery shop, bought some balloons and sad paper with brother. So, these students, we can make a make the similar dialogue conversation as in the example. So here, you can write yourself, Nita. Hi, Jivan. Jivan. Hello, Nita. What did you do yesterday? Nita. I went to a stationery shop and bought some balloons and sad paper. Jivan. Oh, wow. What? Who did you go there with? Nita, I went with my brother. Didn't you do anything yesterday? Jivan, I help my parents in the field. So, these friends, you can do, uh, we can do uh, similar access. You can, you can make similar conversation, these friends. Okay, now, these students listening. Let's do listening exercise. Listen to the recording and write one to six to so the process of preparing black tea. So, listen to the audio. Your teacher will uh, play the audio. So, here are the first step. This is the first step. Uh, this is the second step, uh, this is the third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So you can do this, friends. Now here uh, we'll do next, you know, this is about, uh, complete the four following sentences using simple past or past continuous form of the verbs in brackets. These students, uh, look at the uh, examples here. I bought a study book last week. She had gone home. If I reached there, the play well and won the magic study. She was drawing picture when I met her. So here, the teacher told us his story yesterday. So we should write is told, you know. You yeah, write down told because uh, yesterday is here. And uh, so this is past and above. So told. Next one. They saw me while I was coming. So if that is, you know, such coming. So while I was coming. Write down this way. While I was coming. They saw me while I was coming home from school. My sister, yesterday also you can see yesterday here, my sister gave, my sister gave me uh, a color box yesterday. Now Manju was watching. So something was happening when something happened, okay. So these friends, you know the difference. Uh, these friends. Uh, past ma duita activity boy regalama, yota activity boy regalama, or go activity on chavani. To act. Continuous by the activity, I mean the past continuous simple so many possible activity like simple past my like so you know past man do it action should by the gun the first action zoom by the go sir then I past continuous tense man the second one action like simple past tense man you know past ten past time I got the action Monday continuous by go real by the go absolutely go when you got an alive past continuous tense or a possible only like Simple past tense. So here, uh, so many yesterday were in the simple past. Yesterday said, okay. Now here, you know, four by started. Yes, yes, T R A T started. And next one, we, okay. So there was a heavy, we were playing, okay. We were playing till the, when there was a heavy rainfall yesterday. We are playing. We are playing. Okay. Okay, these students, it's not difficult. Uh, I think I have already explained these things in the previous video. Can you tell me how many of you were there? Okay, were there. So here also were. So now, dear students, so let's do the next exercise. What are the people in the picture doing? So, so kill us, silly, a tuny kill. So it's very interesting, uh, you know. Uh, text, dear students. Now, um, what do the words in column A refer to? Match them, matching here. So read the. Uh, this text yourself, so, Udauli, you know, Ubauli or Ubauli, you know, Ubauli, a festival of Kirat community. So you can see here, a festival of Kirat community. Noxu, Noxu means the main priest. Noxu is, it is called Noxu. 
Silimangapa, Silimang Silimangapa means the male uh, leader. Sili Silimangapa means the male leader. The male leader. Silimanga Silimangma Mangma okay, ma pa means male leader, male leader. Ma Silimangma means female leader. Dol a musical instrument. Mundum means holy book. And Sakila Town means a sacred place. Sacred place. Now the students. What time did you? Uh, what time did Binda and Sitar reach to the hill? Binda, uh, Binda, yeah, not Binda. Binda and Sitar reach to the hill exactly at nine thirty a.m. Now B. What is the name of the sacred place? The sac Thand is the name of sacred place. Sakila Thand, okay. Sacred place. Now C. Which musical instruments are played during the dance? Dhol and Zamata are played during the dance. Who controls the dance? The male leader Silimangpa and the female leader Silimangma control the dance. Now, dear students, okay, write the short story in the following outline. Suggest a suitable title to an old man, three sons about to die, calls his sons to give advice. So, uh, dear students, uh, you can, uh, moral is already given here. So, this is, uh, okay, a skeleton story. We have two. Uh, write a story based being based on the clues, the hints. Let's see. Now, this friend, look at this. A father's advice. So, the title of the story is Father's Advice. Now, here, once upon a time, there lived an old man in a village. He had three sons. Uh, one day, the old man became very ill. He felt that he was about to die. So, he called his sons to give an important advice. He asked them to bring a bundle of sticks. He gave them sticks one after another. First, he asked the eldest uh, son to break those sticks, but he was unable to. And then and the old man asked his next son to break them, but he too was unable to break the bundle all, all at once. Then again, the old man gave the sticks to the to his third son, the youngest one, and asked him to break the bundle of sticks all at once. Like his brothers, he also couldn't break them. Then he asked all of them to work together and break the bundle. They easily broke the bundle. The moral of the story is unity is strength. It's very easy and interesting story, students. Okay, thank you for watching these students. Uh, next time I will uh, come up with the solution to unit 17. Keep on watching. Bye.